Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing the duck. Tada. Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing the triangle trigonometry and the Sokatoa. Sokatoa is only used for the right triangle. And we're going to find the right triangle ratios. Good day everyone, today I will be discussing the triangle trigonometry and the triangle ratios. And of course, in this topic, we're going to discuss the Sokatoa. Again, Sokatoa is used for only for the right triangles. Now, let's say we have here our triangle, our right triangle, this is our 90 degree angle and we have here our theta since we have the given theta this will be our opposite sign opposite sign opposite side of theta and the longest side in our triangle is what we call the hypotenuse and our third side is what we call the adjacent side again the opposite of our theta is what we call the opposite side of our triangle the opposite side of our right angle is our longest side is the hypotenuse and our third side is the adjacent side now let us apply the Sokatawa maybe some of you are familiar with the so katawa so ka to wa where in in this case s stands for our sign o is the opposite okay sign is the opposite side and H is the hypotenuse. C is our cosine. A is our adjacent side. Adjacent. And H is our hypotenuse. And T is our tangent. And A is our adjacent side. Now, how are we going to use the Sokatoa? So, S here stands for sine. So, that means we have sine theta. That is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, our opposite here is our vertical line. So, let us name it as Y. And adjacent is our horizontal line let us name it x so sine theta is opposite so y over hypotenuse that is our radius so r y over r next or we can write here sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse hypotenuse next Cosine theta is equal to adjacent, our adjacent is x over hypotenuse which is r. So, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent theta is equal to opposite, our opposite is y over adjacent x. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that is our Sokatoa. Again, first, this is only applicable for right triangle in solving right triangles. And of course, locate first your theta or the given angle, then label the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. Now to apply, let's have this problem. 
solve triangle ABC if A is equal to 33, angle B is equal to 30 degrees, and angle C is equal to 90 degrees. And of course, prepare your calculator. Now, to solve this, let us first illustrate our triangle. So, using Sokotowa, so understood that that is a right triangle. Okay. So, we have the following given. We have the A. So, side A is equal to 33. Angle B is equal to 30 degrees. And angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Obviously, this is the right angle, so that is the angle C. Now, angle B is 30. So if this is 90, the smallest angle is angle B. So this is B. And the measure of angle B is 30. So we're going to write 30 here. Okay, this is now our theta. And, of course, this is our uh, angle A. Then we have given side, which is A. So, side A, opposite of angle A, is the side A that is equal to 33. So, this side is 33. Again, to label our right triangle, examine our given. So, we have angle C, that is 90 degrees. So, the perpendicular. And... Angle B, that is also given, which is 30. We know that 30, if we have the given 90, so 30, 90, and of course, angle A is now 60. Okay. Then the opposite of angle A is 33. So in this case, we're going to find angle A, side B, and C, our hypotenuse. Let us find first angle A. So angle A, so measure of angle A that is equal to 30 and 90. So that is given. So we know that the sum total of our triangle is 180. So we just need to subtract 180 minus the given 90 minus 30. Now, measure of angle A is 60 degrees. So, that is measure angle A, 60 degrees. Okay, so 60 degrees. Next, we're going to find B. So, this, uh, this side, B. Okay. Because the opposite of angle B is the side B. So, we have our given... We're going to use the Sokotowa. So we have here our opposite is B. And so our given is opposite and adjacent. Sokotowa, we have the opposite. This is our opposite side because we have here 30 as our given. So this is our opposite side. This is our hypotenuse because that is the longest side and the opposite of 90 degrees. And here is the adjacent. Now, examining our given, we have the opposite and adjacent. So, we're going to use the opposite over adjacent. So, that is tangent theta. So, to find B, we're going to use tangent theta. So, our theta here is 30. So, tangent 30 is equal to... So, we're going to write opposite over adjacent. So, tangent 30 is equal to, our opposite is unknown, so B over, our adjacent is given 33. So, 33. Now, cross multiply. So, we have B is equal to 33 tangent 30 okay so just press in your calculator so 
So that is 33 times tangent 30 or simply 33 tangent 30. 33 tangent 30, press in your calculator, that is equal to 11 square root of 3. 11 square root of 3. In decimal, that is approximately 19.05. 19.05 since we have uh, we have no given unit so that is 19.05 units that is fine so that is B next how are we going to find C so C we can use adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse so we can use adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine so to find C cosine 30 is equal to our adjacent here is 33 over our hypotenuse is unknown so that is our C so C now we have So we have cross multiply C cosine 30 is equal to 33. We need to divide by cosine 30 to get C only. So cosine 30, cosine 30. Cancel out. So C is equal to, press in your calculator, 33 over cosine 30. 33. 33 over cosine 30 that is 22 square root of 3 units that will be the measure of our hypotenuse or that is estimately 38.11 so 38.11 so I'm going to write here 38.11 units and our B is 19.05. So to check, our hypotenuse must be the longest side. So 38.11. So that is the longest side among the three sides. Then we know that this is 60. 60 is the second to the largest angle. So our side opposite to it must be the second uh, largest length of our triangle and of course 30 our smallest side. Let's have another example. Now let's have our second example. Solve triangle XYZ if Z is equal to 7, Y is equal to 4, and measure of angle Z is equal to 90 degrees. First step, we need to illustrate our triangle. Okay, triangle, angle Z is 90, so that is our perpendicular Z, then Y, side Y is 4, so if this is our Y, then side Y is 4, then this is our X, and our hypotenuse, opposite of angle Z is side C, so that is 7. We're going to find the measure of X, measure angle X, and measure angle Y. Let's start with X. To find X, this is our X, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So that is X squared plus Others leg is 4 squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, 7 squared. Now we have x squared plus 4 squared is 16 is equal to 7 squared, 49. So x squared is equal to 49 minus 16. So x squared is equal to 33. Now extract the square root. 
x is equal to find the value of square root of 33 so we have square root of 33 that is approximately 5.74 units so that is the value of our x now to find the measure of angle x we're now going to apply our Sokatawa. So if this is our theta or this is the unknown, this is now the opposite. This is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Now we have our given 4 and 7. So adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse, that is cosine. So we're going to use cosine. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, our adjacent is 4 over hypotenuse is 7. So, we have cosine theta. Now, to get the value of our theta, so here our x, our theta here is x. So, we have just press 4 divided by 7, then shift our function cosine. That is 55. Our theta is 55.15. In this case, our theta is x. So, measure of angle x is 55.15 degrees. To find y, we're just going to use the definition or our theorem, the sum of the measures of the interior angle to a triangle is equal to 180. So, measure of angle Y is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 55.15. Now, 180 minus 90, that is 90. So, 90 minus 55.15, that is 34.85 degrees. That is the measure of angle Y. That is the triangle trigonometry and the Sokatoa. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.